Welcome to another video coming at you from Dipping for Days, and we are going to be dipping today. Uh, let's go ahead and put us a lip in, and then we'll get started with this video. I am dipping once again just on some, some Timberwolf Wintergreen. Uh, I actually really like this shit. Go back and watch the other video that I posted, and you can just watch us do a little quick review on that. Not a bad video, Jack. Go ahead. Of course. Good old Copenhagen straight. Daily dip. That's usually what I'll dip on, but I didn't have enough money last time, and plus I bought a log of this. <laughs> so I got, I got a few more cans left. Um, so I thought what we could talk about today is getting caught with dips in whether it's at home or at school or what. And I have a couple good stories. Uh, I have a few. Some of them really aren't worth talking about. So I'll just tell the better ones. Jack, you can go ahead and tell some, one of your stories if you want. Should I, uh, I've never been caught at school, but I've been caught at home quite a bit. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. I've been, oh, I've been caught at baseball. Like, I play for a rec team. Got caught by the umpires. They just told me to take my can out of my back pocket and make the pin smaller. I didn't make the pin smaller. But uh, I've been caught at home quite a bit. Especially, my dad thinks I quit, though. I didn't. But, uh, so, like, uh, I was uh, just, I walked in my house one day. Well, I've done this a few times, especially also a couple weeks back. Walked in my house, thought I hit it did hide it like you couldn't see it but my dad saw the change in my voice because it sounds like I had something in my mouth because I had a hog nut in there and uh he's like you got that chew in your mouth I'm, first of all it ain't chew it's dip but I was, that's what I always tell him I'm like it's dip dad <laughs> and he's like you know, he, he just tells me you know, Yo, you're gonna rot out your jaw and all that that sounds exactly like your dad yeah it, that's it's the exact words he's like you guys few times he's laughed he's only gotten pissed a few times he got pissed when i had copenhagen black in my mouth because he was like where'd you get that and i was like uh i just bummed a pinch off someone i don't dip anymore i just take pinches when i get them <laughs> that's bullshit though yeah that's definitely bullshit never been caught at school in fact i haven't i don't i'm not gonna say the teacher's name but he doesn't yeah. give a fucking rat's ass yeah. about it in his class yeah this guy that he he's in the class with where he dips in that class he is, I've never, like, talked to him, but I've heard some really awesome stories about this guy just being really cool. Um, but for my stories, I have a few that have happened at home, and I've had a few that have happened at school. So, <laughs> Start with the school ones. All right, so I was sitting in uh, one of my classes towards the end of the day, and I didn't have a dip. Uh, that drive to school because I was really hungry and was late to school, so I just ate on the way to school. Didn't have time to put a dip in. And then in one of my morning classes, I usually put a dip in in that class, and we had a project to do, and we were walking around a bunch, and I didn't want to have to carry uh, my spitter with me the entire time and walk all over the class with a spitter and a dip in. I'd rather just sit down and relax with a dip. So I waited towards the end of the day to put one in, I get some on my... Yeah, you spit all over yourself. Well, hell yeah. Thanks for cleaning it up for me, though. Hey, see, that's a good reason to have friends that, that dip. They're not afraid to touch your damn spit, okay? He's my best fucking friend in the entire world. Anything that he does, if he kills my fucking family, I don't give a shit. He's my best fucking friend. <laughs> now, you'd probably uh, be disappointed. With uh, yeah, I'd be, I'd be disappointed in the decision he makes, but, <laughs> but he's still going to be my best friend. Because our our bond is just so damn strong. For the record, though, I do not plan on killing anyone's families. Just putting <laughs> that out there. So, all right. So back back to my story about dipping in school. Uh, waiting towards the end of the day, and I'm sitting in one of my classes. Guy used to not care about dip like at all, and for some reason he started caring this morning. I heard he. It's because all yeah. of our all the classes like bullshit, and he's actually kind of pissed. Yeah. Now, like, because people don't do their work, and he that's his one yeah. thing. He's like, I don't give a damn what you do as long as you do your work. So, I, I can't, I, I talked about this in another video. I don't think I posted it because the video was just way too long, and I didn't want to feel like editing it because it was just, it, it wasn't a great video. But if I did talk to him about it in one of my other videos, I'm sorry. 
just bear with me in my stupidness for a little bit. Um, so I put a dip in the first day of school and he's just like, he tells me to take it out and I take it out. And then next time I put a dip in, he just, he, he brings me up to the front and he just says, you know, take it out. Don't, don't do that in my class anymore. And I do it another time. And it was my last time with the dip in, in that class, uh, so far. <laughs> so, so I put myself a hog nut in just thinking maybe he's not being serious and I had just got this can, so it was full. I just took one pinch out, just cracked the son of a bitch. Put a nice little hog nut in, probably twice the size of this one. And he's looks up at me, and I kind of just like hide it a little bit, but apparently he doesn't hide it enough. And he realizes that I have it in, and he tells me to take it out, and I'm like, I don't have anything in my lip, just like kind of being a jackass. And he ends up bringing me to the front, tells me to give me give him my can. And I hand him my can, and he throws that bitch in the trash, and he's like, if I catch you one more time doing that in my class, you're out. That's it. So, I can't do it in this class anymore, which kind of sucks. Yeah. I, never, I didn't try in his class. I used him as the test dummy. Yeah, he, he's in the dude's class right after Yeah, me. and I was like, I was, he's like, hey, I'm going to try dipping in his class. I was like, okay, go for it. Tell me how it goes, because... I'm friends with the teacher's son, Same and here. he caught me at the dude's house. And yeah, you spit on uh, his fucking front no, porch. No, no, no. That was one time. He, he, I remember I was like, hey, you want me to just like drop my, my assignment off at your house? He's like, you're welcome to come over anytime as long as you don't make a pull on my porch. Well, I'm, I'm sitting on his couch one day. I'm just chilling with his son. Oh, yeah. We're watching TV. These. Were you there that day? Oh, yeah. Uh, I was saying, yeah, we were watching I was, Netflix. I even asked his daughter. I was like, uh, no, I asked Jake. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. yeah, you don't know who Jake is, but I, uh, I'm a Copenhagen junkie to that too. But uh, so I was like, uh, I was mm. like, can I dip in your house? Go check out Copenhagen junkies. It's Cope Junkies now. C O P E J U N K I E S. Really cool guy that does it. His name's Josh. He's really cool. Makes really pretty good videos. Does a phenomenal job editing it, and then comment in his videos. Um, and tell him that Dippin' for Days sent you. And if you don't do that, then fuck you. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so I asked his son. I was like, dude, can I dip in your house? Like, he you don't care? He's like, nah, oh, dude, he don't care. Yeah, and then you and asked then, his daughter. Yeah, right no, after his that. daughter comes in. He's like, she's like, ooh, my daddy's gonna get pissed and all yeah. that. So I'm just sitting on the couch, and he goes, and he walks in, take that dip out. I was like, so I started panicking because I'm just like, this dude's also my coach. Yeah. One of my coaches. And I was just like, oh, shit. So I started panicking, taking it out. I had a water bottle with me. I started trying to put it in the water bottle. I spill some on his ground. Not not spit, but I spill some dip particles all over the fucking ground. And he's just like staring me down, borderline yelling, scared he the piss out of me. He was pissed as fuck. Yeah, so I just like wipe it off. I throw it away. I'm just like, oh, shit. He's and like, then you're, wa no, you're walking to go to the trash can, and then more falls on the ground in the hallway. I don't know yeah, that's how. A, no, that's because of... When I was trying to put it in the bottle, like, I was stuffing it in there, because I put, I, don't, I think it's grizzly mint I was doing. That's also a good dip. Y'all yeah. gotta go try it, it out. It's pretty good. It's kind of dry, though. Kind of dry. But I, I take it out. I'm shoving it in there. I had a big one in, so it's not wanting to fit through a hole that's, like, that big. So it gets on the ground. I'm wiping that shit up, and he's just on my ass the whole time. I'm just like, oh, shit. And afterwards, I, that was so awkward after that. I was like, I'm not dipping in this house ever again. Don't dip. It, uh, if, if, it's if, at your if you don't know for house. sure that their parents are cool, well, that's a nice ass don't truck. do. His mom's cool as fuck. Like I can yeah. dip in his house, and yeah. she's just like, "Why does your friend do that?" Yeah, she every single time. She will find dip on the couch, and she'll ask me. She's like, "Clay, what is this on the couch?" And I'll be like, "Jack had a dip in," and she'll be like, "Tell him to just make sure it's it's cleaned up." And I'm like, "All right," and then she says. You don't dip, do you? I'm like, no. She knows I dip. Um, but all in all, those are some of the best stories that we have for di getting caught with dips in. And let's go ahead and make that the end of the video because I don't want to make it long. Well, I got my hunting story. I, last video, I told y'all I was going hunting in the weekend mm. to get the last uh, last couple days of uh, waterfowl in Alabama. Got me a ring neck hen, took my girl hunting. She busted her ass. It was so funny. She fell in the mud. Did you end up busting her ass? That's awkward. Okay, question <laughs> of the day. Not that day, but the question of the day is, uh, let's see, uh, is uh, underage dipping as big as it is here as it is where y'all are? And here, underage dipping 
He's pretty big. Uh, not at not at our crazy. not at our school that we go to, but just all in all, I don't know a single guy that hasn't tried dip unless you're just a big city slicker. Um, or prep. Or Weed's prep. also big here. Yeah, and that's kind of unfortunate. I don't. I mean, I used to be a huge pothead, but I've gotten past that. But that's basically it. Hope y'all like this video. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, go back and watch our other videos and let us know what you think. Uh, and we'll be at y'all again with another video here pretty soon. And always remember, we ain't good and we ain't fancy. But with a dip in, we can do anything. And that's the damn truth. Y'all be careful out there.